day three in Japan. We are heading to Lassen's to get some breakfast. Kami's gonna go down for her nap after this and gonna do a bunch of fun stuff today. It's a beautiful day today. The weather is super nice. This is like perfect walking weather. Just hang out, walk around, do whatever. So I, uh, I think we're gonna go check out some anime stuff today because once we head to our next destination, there will not be a lot of anime stuff. But yeah, let's show you guys what Lawson's about. So typically we go to Family Mart because we usually stay in Shinjuku side. Um, this is our first time staying on Ginza side. But yeah, the Family Mart closest to us is pretty bad. So Lawson's is where it's at. So this is... Ow. <laughs> um what is this this is the beef one i think it says bonito flakes i don't know no it's translated it just says bonito flakes oh black beef with ginger we know this is good Ooh. we know oh these are the last two so black beef with ginger get this one all the beef and meat musubis are delicious delicious so we got two of those um kelp is always good plum Kelp is kind of like your standard one that they have all the time. Which one? Oh, I don't know. Curry, probably. Oh, yeah, it's the grill. Oh, pork, pork cutlet curry. Should we try one? It's the Gogo Gorilla Curry. So you'll find these chains all over Tokyo. There, you see a big ass gorilla in the yellow sign. Um, I've never eaten there before, but they're everywhere. So we'll try. I'll share one. Yeah? We'll just share it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll share one of those because we have a habit of overbuying and they're restocking right now. Yo, this Lawson's, they're doing a good job. So far, every time we came, they're always restocked. When you guys hear a lot of people coming to Japan and eating a lot of Family Mart, Lawson's, these convenience stores, convenience stores as they call them, don't laugh because everyone does it, even the locals, like the food here is just amazing. The egg sandwiches here look at this they have like a ham and cheese and egg like so good everything looks so good I'm not even hungry to be honest oh like your fruit sandwiches sandra loves yeah go get one which one this one they have a pork cutlet oh sorry oh sorry sorry they have a pork cutlet sandwich down here hot dog yeah i just want strawberry i don't like pineapple and we have food still in the fridge that I have not eaten yet. Yeah, try it. I don't think I've ever tried that before. And the cool thing is about these stores is no matter how many times you come here, you cannot try everything because there's just so much. What's funny about Japan is their protein drinks, it'll say protein on the bottom and it'll have legit like 10 grams of protein because that's considered a lot to them. Oh, this one I think might have 20 grand. Ah, oops, sorry. Sorry, Akami. But yeah, like it has like a little straw in it. Uh, I can't even, I don't see anything that says how much protein this has. All right, there. Okay, I think it does have 20 grams, which is kind of a lot if it's in this little thing. Should we just try it? Yeah, I don't know. This looks like a chocolate or something. Does the red one look like red and melon? I don't know. This a melon yeah, milk I protein? Know. I have no idea. I don't know. Or watch it be like a nasty vegetable one. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this one only has 15 grams of protein though. These have 15. The milk one? has a 20. Yeah. And the other one has a soy. That's fine. We'll just, we'll just try it. Alright, whatever. We'll try this 20 gram protein milk thing. Which is kind of a lot. And Kami's getting tired. I have espressos here, cafe lattes, or oh, like they have Hagen das Ooh, that looks so good. My sweet, whatever oh, that is. Soup. I don't know. They have soup dumplings. Oh, wow. Hagen. Soup dumplings. Oh, this. <laughs> the best. The best. The best. I'll repeat it one more time. The best ice cream in all of Japan. It's always crunchy, always flaky. Delicious. Like, oh my god, I eat at least five of these every trip yeah Kami, Kami knows how good they are and yeah it's like ice cream it's like a wafer a crunchy wafer 
covered in chocolate with some vanilla ice cream in the middle. Pretty much exactly how it looks. It's always crunchy AF and just delicious. And yeah, that's pretty much the best ice cream. I've tried pretty much majority of these ice creams that at least look good. And then obviously melon pond. If you guys come here, you guys have to get melon pond. Should we get melon pond? We haven't got yeah. this trip. Yeah, every trip we get melon pond. It's these things, they don't look good, but they're soft and sweet and oh my God. This will be fresh too. We're gonna try the soup dumplings here. They got some coffee over here. Should I get some coffee? Yeah, let's get some coffee. I'm tired of drinking the coffee downstairs. It's like a coffee machine downstairs that makes like fresh brewed coffee, but Ooh, they have peach though too. Peach fridge fruit. Oh, I also gotta grab some stuff for... Oh, you didn't? Oh, you tried it? Oh, okay. I'm gonna try this Craft Boss thing. Some co iced coffee. I gotta grab some salted lychee. One of these? Probably one, yeah? One? For my new sponsor, which I'll be unveiling soon. One or two? We'll get two. We'll get two. Cause then we're probably gonna throw some other um, snacks and drinks in there for them too. Yeah, they're making a box. I'm giving this so they can test. Oh, also, this is the best lychee drink in Japan. You guys can find it, salted lychee. It's so good, it's so good. So yeah, give that a try, I already ate one. This roll is really good, this soft roll. All their bread stuff, all their, their bread stuff is pretty much bomb. You can find their chicken stuff here. They're, Oh, all their hot stuff is gone. They have like chicken nuggets up here. Chicken on there. What is this? This is fried. That's the good thing about Lawson too is they actually have it in English as well. Family Mart, a lot of times they don't. So you kind of have to translate all the time. So it takes a little bit longer. They have buns. Oh look, their buns are all sold out already. Pizza bun with melty cheese. I think I want to try one of their pizza buns. These are good too. These, these rolls, chocolate rolls are good. Oh, I need to get my yakisoba dog. Every trip, I get, I get, I get this bad boy. Every trip, it's the weirdest thing ever. It's yakisoba, which is noodles, in a hot dog bun. It's the weirdest thing ever, but every trip I have to get it. It's like my staple. Yeah. But it's weird, but it's delicious. Don't hate on it until you try it. Hey, I promise you guys. It's weird. Majority of things you guys try here, it may look weird, but it's going to be delicious. Like, these things are weird. Oh, look at this. It's like a fiery egg. Look at that. It's like death fire egg. That's interesting. Got the alcohol. They got more eggs over here. Alright, I think I'm pretty good, though. Okay, I'm gonna start heading out. And that's our delicious Lawson run. Time to head back to the hotel and enjoy this deliciousness and put a comment down for her nap and hit a workout <laughs> and then we're off for more activities it's a beautiful day so we gotta make sure we enjoy this this cream puff factory where they're known for their beautiful Totoro cream puffs they're super cheap and beautiful and they sell out really fast place opens at 10 30 we got there about 12 30 and there's still about maybe 10, 15 left. So my advice would be get there before noon if you guys want a chance of getting it. And I'm gonna show you guys what we got. How cute they put a little Totoro. Little Totoro sticker up top. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Oh my God, I'm worried. I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. The teeth is back stuff in it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> and there we go. Hey, let's go. Hey, <laughs> yeah, and that's the cream puffs. They're all different flavors. We got mango, chocolate, blueberry yogurt, and, and custard. Yep. Yeah. And Kami's eating a donut. Say hi, Kami. <laughs> hi. Oh, they put okay. a cooling pack in here. I didn't even know. That's oh, so nice. sweet. Keep it nice and cold. Got the oh, cooling pack in there. It's so we'll kind. Take some pictures. <laughs> and then we're gonna eat this. Sandra's been dying to come here. Yes, since like the first trip ever back in 2019. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, today we're supposed to go check out the spider lilies, which was like about an hour out, but the bloom is late this year. They only just started charging people to go to the park this year. This weekend. Oh yeah, this weekend, sorry. <laughs> this weekend, um, because they only just started blossoming now, so. 
we decided not to go. It's like an hour out. It's not like a cherry blossoms or it's like super nearby or anything. Um, we might decide to go on the last day again. But yeah, spider lilies, I think those are the ones from Demon Slayer. Okay. Yeah, in the Demon Slayer intro, I think those are spider lilies. But we're gonna take some pictures, try this out, and we'll let you know how it is. Trying the cream puff. Should I bite its head off? Ah! <laughs> Sandra said this is too cute to eat. <gasps> oh. oh, that was the mango one, yeah? Mmm, yep. I don't get cream though. Mmm. Not big into cream puffs. Mango's good. Mango's very good. This was like the last one too. Yeah. So come early if you guys want mango. Come extra early. I wanna try it. Alright, give it a try. Oh, now I can eat it because it's ugly. I'll eat the eyeball. <laughs> we'll eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Mango. Mango's good, yeah? Yeah, it's a little tart, but it's creamy. Yeah. 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 Mmm. Mmm. It's like fresh pieces of mango. It's like they pureed mango and their whipped cream. Yeah, it's like legit. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. So we're in Akihabara now. If you guys are into anime, this is where you will find every single anime you can ever dream of. And it's pretty much, yeah, the, I don't know, the center of all anime. If you guys seen Steins Gate, it's also where Steins Gate is um, based from. And yeah, this is where you can find a lot of good like figures and stuff. Last time I got my Goku Black figure, which is super do um, sick at a really good price. They always they have a lot of secondhand shops here. We can find pretty much brand new stuff for really cheap. So we're gonna go check it out. Right now we're next to the seven story sex shop, which we'll, we'll, we will not be going to because we got a Kami. <laughs> However, we'll be go checking out some anime stuff, even arcades. So if you guys are into arcade games and whatever, you guys can go check out these arcades. They have like seven, eight floors of different arcades and all these games. They have Pachinko here. They have the a bunch of claw games here. They have every game you can think of. So yeah, we're gonna check it out. Last time when we came in March, it was lit. It was way busier than it is now. So it's actually a good time. It's also Sunday, so I guess it would be a little bit busier today, but it's pretty damn slow compared to what we saw last time. Beware when you're filming in Akihabara. Right now we have our camera covered with one of Akami's bird plots um, because they don't like it when you film. And like, especially like the figure shop, which is really weird. I don't know why they would care, but they do. And this is a beautiful view right here. It's a beautiful view. Show them what I'm looking at. Look at that beautiful view of the buildings and everything in Japan. Just soak it all in. Oh, is it nicer behind me? Oh yeah, it is nicer behind me. Oh yeah, just soak it all in. Like I said, if you guys haven't read the book, The Power of Now, it's like moments like these, you just take a deep breath, let time stop and slow down, and just soak in all your surroundings, everything you hear, everything you see. And yeah, just love it, love it. Sanjo already wants to plan our next Japan trip. <laughs> Which I don't know when will be coming, but hopefully it'll be, hopefully it'll be colder than this. We're actually hoping it would be colder, but because of global warming, I guess. <laughs> but our next stop is definitely gonna be a lot colder than here. But yeah, everyone's taking pictures over here. You want a picture with the Kami? Oh. Yeah? Later. No, we can take it out. Oh, maybe we can get a family pic. Oh yeah, we can take it. We can just leave it on the tripod and just screenshot it. Yeah, we'll go right in the middle of the road. You want to do that? Yeah. All right. So we're going to cut right here. Got the family pictures done. Now we're going to check out some bigger shops. This one looks sick. I think I've been in this one before. Yeah, I've been in this one before. Big ass Goku over here. 
pretty cool. Big ass Goku. They got all the Dragon Ball characters over here. Ooh, that's a nice piece. Let's look. Luffy, was it fifth gear? Is that his new gear? Yeah, fifth gear. Got Zoro. I like the big figures, but those are flipping expensive. Like that Goku actually, a friend, is pretty sick. I wouldn't get it though. I know which one I want to get. But I'm not getting the life size Goku till I hit a million subs. That's the plan. When that happens, who knows? <laughs> But whatever, I'm just gonna have fun with my videos till we get there. Got these figures, I have no idea. Is this Evangelion or something? Looks like it. I don't know, I don't see anything. You see anything you want, babe? Huh? Small. Yeah, it's small. I'm gonna head out. Let's go. On to the next. And this is why Japan is so clean. and you don't see trash cans anywhere. So the reason why you don't see trash cans in Japan is because a long time ago, someone put bombs, hit bombs in the trash cans in Japan in the subway. And I don't recall exactly what happened or if it was like kind of alert kind of thing. But after that, Japan just took away all their trash cans. I remember the Gogo Gorilla, the curry pan, we, or not curry pan. But the curry musubi we had, that's Gogo -Go Gorilla. They're everywhere. And that musubi was actually flipping good. For those of you guys who've been to Curry House, it was legit like a mini chicken cutlet curry in a musubi form. This always reminds me of Dragon Ball. This store, they have them everywhere as well. Does it remind you of Dragon Ball? It's the colors. Yeah. Reminds me of Goku. I'm always drawn to it. Oh yeah, let's go check out anime. Let's see what they have. Yeah, your name, your name. If you guys haven't seen your name, probably the best anime movie I've seen. Yeah, Makoto Shinkai is just straight killing it. We even like the other one. Oh, look at these big, these big ass figures. You'll see a lot of female figures, man. Japan? Okay. Japanese is crazy for their female figures. Got t shirts over here. Oh, a chainsaw man. It looks like it would be nice. I just don't know what it looks like. Check it out. Mappa. <laughs> Ciao tsu. Ciao tsu. Oh, wait. Goodbye. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> No, yeah, he's a good, he's a goner. He's a goner. Oh, here's a... I want to see what this one looks like. <laughs> Gogeta. Gogeta. This is actually sick. It's nice. It's a large too. Huh. Fusion Gogeta. That's the only thing I don't like about it. It says like Fusion Gogeta in the back. It's a little corny for me. Oh, there's the manga side, I think. This is pretty cool. There's Dragon Ball over here. Dragon Ball does not get enough love. Yeah. I know. Dragon Ball over here. Oh, there's Dragon Quest. <laughs> Dragon Quest. Not to be mistaken for Dragon Ball. But what is this? Sick. This is the OG oh. One Piece. OG One Piece. It's the first episode. Should we get started our manga collection? Hunter Hunter. Oh, I love Hunter. You guys haven't watched Hunter Hunter? Low key, one of the best. Not even low key, but definitely one of the best. Detective Conan, you see him all over the place. Oh, got Berserk. Shout out to Logan. I know Logan is a huge Berserk fan. Dude, they have all like the. The OGs right here. Tokyo Ghoul. Oh my god, Tokyo Ghoul. Let's arm with Tokyo Ghoul then. Then I don't know you. And then Demon Sir. <laughs> Banana Fish. Really? Banana Fish? You heard of this? Oh. I have not heard of that. Oh yeah, the OGs, man. Slam Dunk. 
slam dunk. But on this side. Oh, what is this? It's like one piece. <laughs> You'll find that those everywhere. This is like the new in thing though, the kitsune mask on the side of your head. Yeah, that's like the new look. Yeah, and I don't really know. Yeah, these are all just like magazines and stuff. Alright, we'll bounce on to the next shop. Alright, we're at the monster secondhand store we went to last time. There's so much stuff here. Like My Hero Unopened. I haven't watched My Hero in so long. Dude, it's so cheap. Nine eighty. Yeah, this is where you go. Was this place called iTube? No. Akiba Zone. Akiba Zone. Like, look at that. Unopened. Oh no, that's kind of expensive. Depends what it is. Depends what it is. All right. Yeah. Let's look for some something big. Actually, they had some monster ones that was expensive. I remember. It, I think it depends on like yeah the rarity of the figure as well. This was expensive, all right. Yeah, we have Beast Gohan down there. That's cool. What's his name? Android Seven. Oh wait. No, 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 no. Uh, the guy oh, with the Australian the accent. The Chi Chi one is so cute! The box. Oh, yeah. 200 bucks. 250. Damn. This That's is Android. Bulma. That Bulma. Beast Gohan. Beast Gohan actually isn't that bad. It's like 10 bucks. Hey, they have the old school Dragon Ball song. Can you hear it? Oh, Shenron down there. Oh, it's a monster Shenron! Monster Shenron! 758 bucks. Damn. Yeah, it's gonna be a monster Shenron. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they still have the Dragon Ball wall over here. Overlord for you guys who like Albedo. I know a lot of people love Albedo. You see Albedo figures everywhere. For some reason, this one's not very like revealing so like all the others you see yeah you see a bunch of these over here these like nyan nyan girls yeah <laughs> nyan nyan girls that's what i call them <laughs> piccolo dude piccolo for 15 bucks or 17.80 yen so it's like 15 14 dollars usd or whatever it, the conversion is but that's so cheap i don't really want a piccolo Bigger. Also, I guess it depends. Like some people are very picky about who makes the figures as well. Oh, isn't that Big Mama? Is that? Yep. Big Mama. Big Mama. That's not bad. Eighty bucks. Eighty-two eighty for. Ooh, Luffy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There's Luffy. Oh, there's an ace in the back too. Oh, that one's nice. Luffy, Samurai Luffy. Oh, oh it's one... only 60 bucks. I wonder how big this is. It must be as big as the box, right? It's unopened. Did they have an open one? Dude, there's a the last one too. Ooh. Huh. What do you think, babe? It's nice. What do you think? Do you Pretty like good it? Pretty good luggage if it fits. <laughs> Uh, well, we got we actually packed an extra luggage. <laughs> oh, this piccolo is actually this is a pretty decent piccolo, actually. Oh. Yeah, it's a this decent piccolo. It's a decent piccolo. The sunny, sunny, yeah. <laughs> sunny got broke over there. Huh, what do you think about the loopy though? There's an ace in the back, too. No, he's sitting down with a girl. I'm guessing he has a daughter. Does he have a daughter? Don't Wait, spoil it. Yeah, he's sitting down with a girl. Who's oh, that? Oh no, no, that's uh, you'll find out. Um, <laughs> no, it's not his. He doesn't have a daughter. Oh, okay. Hmm. Samurai Luffy. He's on a stand though. Be careful, figures on stands. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What do you? We'll sit on it. We'll leave. We'll leave it up here. 
we'll, we'll hide it back here and we'll come back. Demon Slayer stuff. Oh, like that's they have like so an cute. arm cut, long Is that a calendar or something? What is that? Oh, it's 180 bucks. What is that? Is that a calendar? I don't know. Is it like a collectible? Like they have all of them because it's so cute. They all have takoyaki. Oh yeah, that's funny. That's funny. 180 bucks though, man. Damn. Dude, people will spend that on anime. Not this guy though. <laughs> Not this guy. Yeah, I don't know. There's these cutesy girls again. I don't know. Is there another floor for right here? Or is this the only floor? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can just... Oh, they have lucky bags? Yeah, we can just... Did you want the Luffy? Nah, it's okay. All right. You're gonna change your mind and we're gonna make a trip again. No. Oh yeah. So for Goku Black, that's what we actually did. We left and then came back the next day because <laughs> I decided I wanted it. Yeah. And it was there, so we bought it. We got hungry and decided to stop at Kyukatsu Motomura. He gave us some bibs to eat. Oh, perfect. I got a white shirt too. Yep, this is why I don't really like wearing white. Look at me. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, sorry. About that. <laughs> but Yukatsu Motomura, I don't say a lot of places are absolutely must try in Japan. This is probably one of them, especially if you like Yukatsu. Even if you've never tried Yukatsu, I definitely think it's worth it. But yeah, this place is delicious. You basically cook your own. And honestly, I don't like cooking my own stuff too, you know, because I feel like you're doing their work. But this place is just next level. The yukatsu is so soft and tender. You literally leave it on for like five seconds on each side just to sear it a little bit. And you guys will see in a little bit, we got the biggest size. So there's three different sizes and it's the different weights. I think it's like 160, 200 or something and 350 or something like that. But it's basically the waiting grams of the meat and I get three every time. So if you guys aren't a Yamcha, get number three because you guys will regret it. Like Sandra regretted it last time she got the smallest size because she thought she wasn't that hungry. But then she regretted not getting a bigger size. So this time she got number two and I got number three as per usual. I'm not super hungry but we'll see how it goes. I always say that until, until I start eating. But yeah, and it comes with like these sauces and everything. Just the smell in this place. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna leave this place smelling like it. But yeah, make sure you guys come in the off hour. Right now it's about almost it's about 4 p.m. We got in line about 3:30, 3:45. So, but and there's only like three people in front of us. The line did get a lot longer after we got in, so we got real lucky with it. Uh, and right as I said, that food just came. <laughs> so we literally cut it for a second. Oh, <laughs> nine. Nine. Oh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. <laughs> You're a big girl. <laughs> Our server thought Cameron was two months old. <laughs> she didn't see your legs, babe. She's spilling. あ、はい。ありがとうございます。えっと、食べ方は分かりますか食べ方。食べ方の顔とおいや。おはいはい。いや、we Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 I'm not a huge fan of the yam just because it's slimy. 
Um, maybe I'll try a little this time. Miso soup is super hot. They got this mochi thing that you can eat. They have like a little, what's it called, like potato? Yeah, a little potato thing. But yeah, let's dig in. Dig in. So this is the salad dressing. It's probably already mixed when you shake it. But yeah, this the cabbage is so good. Sliced cabbage. I don't know how they get it so thin. We gotta get that machine. Let me to help you. Oh yeah. Look at this. That's pretty much how it looks raw. That's how it looks raw. Just leave it on. Literally for five seconds. Okay, here it's sizzling. Just sear it a little bit. And then stick it a little bit. And you dunk it in the sauces. Let it cool off a little bit. Is it worth it? Oh my god. You know what this place? I always like. This is one of those places where. Oh, I forgot the wasabi too. Oh, yeah, you dip in the wasabi. The wasabi takes it to another level. This is one of those places. I kind of remember back and you're like, yeah, that was good. You want me to help you butt in the back? Oh, after, after we eat. Sorry. Sorry. Let me help Super Mom. But yeah, there's one of those places where you remember back and you're like, yeah, it's good. But when you come here and you like revisit everything, and dude, like my enthusiasm is over 9,000 right now. Like, I thought this place was good in the beginning when I recommended it. But yeah, you guys have to try it. This is like a bucket list place. Do you guys like? Katsu of any sort. Yeah, I'm gonna go in on the yams too and just mix it all in. Screw it. We're gonna eat it how it is. I'm suddenly super hungry all of a sudden. But yeah, once you guys try this, like, it's just amazing. There's a reason why they opened up places all over Japan. Tokyo. Oh, all over Tokyo. When I first came here and found this place, there was only one. I believe this is the Shinjuku one, is the first one. But man, this place is just next level. Like this beef, man. That beef. Oh. Couple seconds on each side. Oh shit, I forgot to <laughs> take a picture. Dude. Like look, little five seconds on each side. Less than five seconds to be honest. Like, like I overcooked it a little bit. It's like three seconds on each side. Oh, then you dip it in the wasabi. Get a little wasabi on that. Oh, that's a little too much. Dip it in some of this sauce. Let's try this sauce this time. Wasabi. Ooh, went up my nose a little bit. Please your sinuses. The swabby just takes it to another level. Here are some potatoes. Yeah, miso soup over here. So good. Oh yeah, I'd even eat some cabbage with that bite. Shoot. I keep overcooking my meat on accident. Literally, a couple seconds inside, this thing is super hot. Yeah, 
bad. Dip it in some wasabi right there. Bam. Try the other sauce. Yep, you got some motomoto. <clears throat> come here, give it a try. Put it on your bucket list. When you come to Japan, make it happen. This will be a long ass video, that's for sure. They originated here. I think they branched out to Osaka, maybe Fukuoka, but Osaka for sure. But they have a Fukuoka, so oh. I really want to eat it. Oh. Yeah, so Sandra said there's one in Osaka too because they branched off a little bit more. But yeah, the next spot there is none, so Sandra's really happy that we ate here. But yeah, we'll cut it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little raw walkthrough for you guys. I don't even know. Hope these videos come out good. Hope you guys hope it gives you guys like a real world experience. Or like a first person experience of what it's like being in Japan and hopefully you guys can see why I love it so much and yeah hopefully you guys can make it out here one day you know or come again um, I'll see you guys in the, the next video